Hey guys, I hope you're having a happy day. I just wanted to check in really quick and uh, show you what's going on with these variegated monsteras. Um, actually, I'm not sure if I ever talked about them on my channel, but I got these cuttings a few months ago and um, actually I lost a bunch of them because they were just in dirt like this and after I got them, I didn't water them for, I want to say like a week or something, and then I watered them, and then they got all gooey and uh, got root rotted, so I was very upset, but I did manage to save two that um, I just am kind of like growing in this jar, and what's happening with those, let me see if I can take it out, what's happening with those, if you can see the dark spot on the stem, so that was already happening inside of the dirt. Um, and I'm kind of in this weird place now with this water propagation jar. Um, the roots are growing, but on the other cutting, it was just starting to get a new leaf the other day. And I guess I should have filmed this before I rip this out. Can you see this? That little dark spot was a brand new leaf and it was green and beautiful like two days ago and then I check on it today and it's all gooey and brown and pretty much rotting inside of the stem so I'm really like upset about it because I was thinking oh my gosh finally one of these cuttings made a new leaf and really this is the healthier one if you ask me the stem looks really good it's not black like the other one it's growing in area root really nice um so i have no idea what the reason is for the rotted leaf well actually it might be because it's in water i don't know so i think today i'm gonna put it in this orchid pot and i'm gonna i'm gonna pot it in like a very uh airy mix even more than this one um so it has like air in the roots and that's why I'm putting it in this like kind of holy pot let me show you and this was not too holy because actually the glaze has gotten in some of the holes so not a lot of the dirt is going to escape but it has these nice holes on the bottom and I think that will help um you know keep some air moving through the pot and um you know take away the chance of any further rotting I'm hoping that um a new new leaf is growing inside of this bad leaf because uh, that happened to one of my other plants one of my new leaves was rotting and then inside from that came a brand new new leaf that was totally healthy so I'm hoping that when I do stick this in um, a potting mix that it's gonna kind of start to do a little better it's it's so cute it's just such a little baby and it just grew out of out of a little section of a stem so that's pretty exciting that this is how easy, I guess, these plants propagate, although I'm not having the best luck with this variegated uh, variety. But um, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do today. And the other exciting news here is that in this pot, so this pot just had these two awesome leaves. This one was a little burnt, so I just cut it a little bit, cut the burnt parts out and um, it was just in here with these two nubs and like I said in my experience before I've had new leaves form even though um, the stumps are kind of cut off and check it out this one is making a new leaf and it looks like it's gonna be really white I'm super excited hopefully this one will be next can you see right there on the right I'm hoping a new leaf will form out of that little bud too. So uh, I'm really excited and fingers crossed that nothing happens to this leaf like the other one. I'm really keeping um, the moisture monitored with a water meter here so I don't screw this up because um, these are these are so awesome and I really want to have an actual plant, um, not just these not just these cuttings that are barely growing for me. I can't wait for it to turn into a plant where I can put it in a proper pot, not just this nursery pot, which I keep squeezing all the time so I can make some air in there for the roots. Um, but yeah, so this is my update. Um, I'm gonna pot this baby up now. Um, unfortunately, I'm having some tripod issues lately, so 
uh, I think I'm gonna just check in with you guys in a few days and let you know um, how this little guy is doing after um, it's been in the pot. Anyway guys, I hope that you're having a lovely day and I hope you have a safe 4th of July if you are in the States and are celebrating. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao!